So the liver meetings 2023 really was a landmark meeting for those of us working in cholestatic liver disease. Um, we saw two major phase three international clinical trials read out, presented at the late breaker session. We also saw, saw some interesting data with regard to combination therapy with bezofibrate and OCA. Uh, and some interesting data analyzing the challenges of doing a confirmatory trial in the setting of a chronic disease where a therapy is already approved for an indication for PBC. So to start, uh, we had two major <clears throat> PPAR agonists. Uh, one is elafibrinor and alpha-delta dual agonists, and the other is celadelpar, a PPAR delta agonist both conducting phase three trials for patients with primary biliary cholangitis who had either an inadequate response to ursodeoxycholic acid uh, or intolerant of ursodeoxycholic acid. Uh, both studies were approximately about 150 patients or so in size, uh, with two thirds receiving treatment and one thirds randomized to placebo. And uh, uh, the elafibrinor, uh, both studies were positive and met their primary endpoints, which is great. Uh, and I had the honor of being a participating investigator in both of those studies. Um, and to start with, with elafibrinor, uh, there was a 51% response in terms of meeting the primary endpoint, nam namely alkaline phosphatase reduction, bilirubin maintaining in the normal range with at least a 15% reduction, uh, compared to 4% in placebo-treated patients, <clears throat> and 15% of patients normalize alkaline phosphatase, with a approximately 40% reduction in alkaline phosphatase level in the treated patients. There was a trend towards improvement in a key secondary endpoint, uh, namely itch, Patients with moderate to severe itching showed a trend towards improvement, but it was not statistically significant. Um, some other secondary endpoints examining itch and measuring itch did show positive results. So in summary, both studies, um, you know, uh, show really a major advance in treatment of PBC until now. Uh, Urso has been the only first-line therapy since 1997 and obeticolic acid since 2016. Um, and now we have potentially two agents that hopefully will meet regulatory approval and will be available to our patients. The elafibrinor trial also simultaneously was published in the New England Journal of Medicine yesterday. And uh, I expect the Celadelpar trial will also be published in a high-impact journal uh, in the coming short period of time. A couple of other interesting observations. Um, <clears throat> there was one study showing that the combination of obeticolic acid and fibrates uh, could achieve complete biochemical normalization, at least with regard to alkaline phosphatase less than or equal to upper limit of normal, and maintaining a bilirubin of one or less uh, at a higher rate compared to patients who were receiving <clears throat> monotherapy uh, on a baseline of ursodeoxycholic acid. And this is important because for those of us that take care of a lot of patients with PBC and are leaders in PBC research, it is becoming increasingly clear that our goal should not be just to achieve a dichotomous variable of reduction in alkaline phosphatase to less than twice or less than 1.67 times upper limit of normal, but really aim towards biochemical normalization. And I think that has not been possible until recently. Um, and with the new option of having multiple therapies and using possibly triple combinations, we're seeing improvements in alkaline phosphatase and normalization in a substantial proportion of patients. And as a proof of concept, a study combining um, bezofibrate and obeticolic acid is now showing rates of alkaline phosphatase normalization of 40% or higher. Uh, and we hope that with early adoption of these therapies, we can achieve complete normalization of alkaline phosphatase, maintain a normal bilirubin or a bilirubin less than 0.6 um, times upper limit of normal, which is the threshold below which there are fewer complications uh, in most of our patients. And in fact, the study that I mentioned that looked at a combination of OCA and fibrates looked at not bilirubin less than normal, but less than 0.6 times upper limit of normal 
and normal alkaline phosphatase. Uh, finally, there was an interesting abstract uh, from the <laughs> follow-up from the COBOL trial. The COBOL trial was the real world, uh, was not real world, but the phase four confirmatory trial, bobeticolic acid compared to placebo, aiming to show improvement in clinical outcomes. Uh, thus far, obeticolic acid has been approved based on a surrogate endpoint, and so has received um, not full approval, but, uh, but approval, conditional approval, with the obligation to show improvement in a confirmatory clinical trial. And this trial failed uh, to meet its primary endpoint due to futility. And further analysis of this study, which uh, I was the first author of a poster, showed that in fact um, there was a significantly higher rate of drop-offs or withdrawal of patients who were in placebo compared to abeticolic acid. And it really highlights the challenges of doing a confirmatory trial in potentially a sicker population of patients that may potentially be randomized to placebo when a therapy is already available on the market. So I think that uh, provides us uh, some important food for thought and gives us some important challenges and opportunities in thinking about how can we address the need for confirmation in um, clinical trials for full approval when therapies are already available for a chronic slowly progressive disease. And I think this is likely to become more acute as more therapies are available and patients are on second or even third line therapies. So I think there's a lot of interest in exploring the use of real world cohorts and real world evidence to provide as comparators for um, achieving um, clinical outcome changes or results with therapies compared to historical controls. So that's a very fast trip uh, through cholestatic liver disease at the liver meeting 2023, and um, I'm delighted to be able to summarize it for you.